Imagine uncovering a secret so profound that transforms not only how you pray, but also how you live and manifest your deepest desires. This secret lies hidden in one of the most familiar prayers in history, the Our Father. Beyond its traditional religious resonance, this prayer holds a mysterious power, a key to unlocking the law of attraction in ways you might never have imagined. What if I tell you that the Our Father prayer, often recited without much thought, could be the blueprint for manifesting anything you desire? That within its lines lies a code, not just for spiritual communion, but for creating a reality brimming with abundance, love, and fulfillment? This ancient text, known to many but truly understood by few, is a gateway to a universe where your thoughts and emotions shape your world. Welcome to our new video, where we embark on a profound journey through the wisdom of the universal prayer, delving into the secrets of faith, manifestation, and spiritual transformation. This video will explore the mystical intersection between the Our Father, prayer, and the law of attraction through the lens of Neville Goddard's teachings. We embark on a journey to uncover how this sacred text, revered for centuries, can serve as a powerful catalyst in manifesting our deepest desires. It is a journey that promises to blend ancient wisdom with the contemporary understanding of the universe, guiding us toward a life of greater abundance, joy, and fulfillment. As we go on, prepare to have your understanding of this timeless prayer reshaped and your approach to manifestation revolutionized. The Our Father prayer is about to transform from a familiar verse into a powerful mantra for your life. You're on the cusp of discovering a secret that has waited centuries to be revealed, the secret of using a prayer known by millions to unlock a life of limitless possibilities. Get ready for this adventure. Take a notebook and a pencil. Sit comfortably and prepare to listen with your heart, because only in your heart will you understand the true meanings that will be revealed. Let's unveil this mystery together. Our Father, prayer was revealed by Jesus of Nazareth, a figure of immense spiritual significance across cultures, comprises seven distinct affirmations or mantras that hold deep symbolic and spiritual meaning. This prayer, as one of Jesus' key teachings, is loaded with profound spiritual authority. It's not just a set of words, but a powerful spiritual tool crafted by a master who deeply understood the human condition and the pathways to higher consciousness. It is a profound and intentional act to guide us toward understanding and harnessing the power of our thoughts, emotions, and intentions. The prayer, in its essence, is not just a set of words to be recited, but a blueprint for aligning our inner world with the divine, and in doing so, manifesting a life of abundance, harmony, and fulfillment. At its core, the Our Father prayer encapsulates key principles of the law of attraction. It teaches us to focus our thoughts and emotions on what we desire to manifest. When Jesus introduced this prayer, he was providing a tool for positive affirmation and visualization, key components in attracting what we seek. Each line of the prayer can be seen as a mantra that activates and harmonizes the corresponding chakra, facilitating a balanced flow of energy throughout the body and mind. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. This line in particular is a call to align our personal desires with a higher divine will. In the context of the law of attraction, it's about ensuring that our aspirations are in harmony with the greater good. When our desires are aligned with love, peace, and goodwill, attributes of the heavenly, they are more likely to manifest in our earthly experience. Give us this day our daily bread is a lesson in gratitude and trust in the universe's provision. The law of attraction emphasizes the power of gratitude in attracting more of what we are thankful for. By acknowledging and appreciating what we have, we open ourselves to receive even more and forgive us our sins as we forgive our sinners. Forgiveness as highlighted in this line, is vital for maintaining a positive energy flow. Holding on to negative emotions like anger or resentment can block the manifestation process. Jesus, through this prayer, taught the importance of releasing these negative energies to allow for the flow of positive experiences. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
can be understood as a request for protection from negative thoughts and influences that can hinder the law of attraction. It's a recognition of our susceptibility to negative energies and a request for strength to stay aligned with positive intentions. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. This acknowledgement of the divine power is akin to affirming the universe's infinite ability to manifest our desires. It's a statement of faith in the universal laws that govern our reality. Jesus taught the Our Father prayer, not just as a religious practice, but as an emotional and spiritual guide. It's a template for aligning our thoughts, emotions, and spirit with the qualities of the divine, love, abundance, and harmony. By doing so, we create a powerful vibrational match with our desired outcomes, enabling us to attract and manifest them into our lives. In essence, Jesus Christ, through this prayer, was teaching a profound spiritual truth. Our inner state of being has a direct impact on our external reality. By mastering our thoughts and emotions and aligning them with divine principles, we can effectively co-create our lives with the universe, turning our deepest desires into lived experiences. The Our Father prayer in this light becomes a timeless tool for spiritual growth and manifestation relevant across ages and cultures. The integration of the Our Father prayer with the Law of Attraction offers a harmonious blend of spiritual tradition and contemporary metaphysical understanding. This integration provides a framework for using the prayer as a tool for manifestation, aligning our thoughts, emotions, and desires with the principles of the Law of Attraction. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. This opening line sets the stage for a powerful alignment with the universe. It's about acknowledging the presence of the higher power, a divine consciousness that permeates everything. In the context of the law of attraction, this recognition is crucial. It reminds us that we are part of a larger interconnected reality, where our thoughts and emotions are not isolated, but part of the universal tapestry. When we hallow the name of this divine presence, we elevate our vibration, aligning ourselves with higher frequencies of love, peace, and abundance. Neville Goddard emphasized in all his teachings that heaven is not a distant place but a state of consciousness within us. When we say, Our Father who art in heaven, we recognize that the creative power resides within us and we can tap into it to manifest our desires. Neville encouraged us to understand that the name of the divine is not external, but symbolic of the creative power within us. Recognizing the sacredness of this power reinforces our ability to manifest our desires. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. This line is a profound affirmation of our desire to manifest a reality that reflects our highest aspirations. It's an emotional declaration that we wish to see our dreams and goals materialize in our physical world just as they exist in our imagination, our personal heaven. It's about aligning our will with the universal will, ensuring that our desires are in harmony with the greater good. This alignment creates a powerful vibrational match, facilitating the manifestation of our intentions. We have the power to create our reality, and by affirming that, Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, we are invoking the divine creative power within us to manifest our desires in alignment with higher principles. Give us this day our daily bread. In this line, we find a lesson in trust and gratitude. By asking for our daily bread, we express faith that the universe will provide for our needs. This trust is a key component of the law of attraction as it opens our hearts to receive. Gratitude amplifies this effect, creating a positive energy that attracts more blessings into our lives. This line teaches us to appreciate the present moment, to find joy and fulfillment in the here and now, rather than constantly seeking something more or better. It represents a request for the manifestation of our daily needs and desires. Through the power of visualization and affirmation, we will bring into our reality our daily sustenance and abundance and forgive us our sins as we forgive our sinners. Forgiveness is a powerful tool in clearing negative energies that can hinder our manifestation efforts. 
Holding on to anger, resentment, or guilt creates an energetic block, preventing us from attracting positive experiences. By forgiving ourselves and others, we release these blocks, allowing our desires to flow toward us more freely. This line is a call to let go of past hurts and embrace a future filled with love and positivity. According to Neville's teachings, this line is a call for the forgiveness of ourselves and others, as holding on to negative emotions can block our manifestations. By forgiving, we clear our consciousness and make room for the fulfillment of our desires and lead us not into temptation. This plea for guidance and protection is about maintaining our focus on positive thoughts and emotions. It's a request for strength to resist negative influences that can lead us astray from our manifestation path. In the law of attraction, our thoughts and feelings are the building blocks of our reality. Therefore, guarding against negativity is crucial in ensuring that we attract only what serves our highest good. Recognizing that we have the power to choose our thoughts and focus, lead us not into temptation, would signify our intent to stay focused on positive and empowering thoughts that support our desires. But deliver us from evil. The Lord's Prayer serves as more than a sacred recital. It's a plea for resilience against the negativity that threatens our manifestations. This line is a shield, a call for a steadfast, positive mindset amidst doubts and fears. Neville Goddard's teachings amplify this, seeing it as an affirmation to repel negative thoughts and sustain an empowered state of mind, critical for successful manifestation. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. The concluding affirmation of the prayer is a powerful statement of faith and acknowledgement of the universe's infinite power. It's a recognition of the eternal, unchanging nature of the divine and our connection to it. This acknowledgement reinforces our faith in the law of attraction, empowering us to trust in the universe's ability to manifest our desires. It's a reminder that we are part of something much larger and more magnificent, capable of shaping our reality through the power of our thoughts and beliefs. Neville interprets this as a recognition of the limitless creative power within us. Thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever, reaffirms our belief in our own creative abilities to manifest our desires. Goddard says that imagination is the divine faculty that allows us to create our reality. According to him, the Lord's Prayer is not just a petition to a distant deity, but a series of affirmations that when understood and applied with imagination, can transform our world. For Goddard, the phrase, Our Father in Heaven, symbolizes the recognition of a higher creative aspect of ourselves, a divine imagination from which all things originate. He suggests that by acknowledging this divine aspect, we align ourselves with the creative power of the universe. In this context, imagination becomes a sacred tool with the Lord's Prayer serving as a guide for its use. To manifest our desires, Goddard instructs us to first conceive of them within our imagination as already fulfilled. This process involves more than mere daydreaming. It requires a vivid, sensory-rich engagement with our desires as if they were currently our reality. For instance, if one desires abundance, they should not only imagine having abundance, but also feel the security and freedom that come with it, hear the sounds of prosperity, and even smell the scent of success. Central to Neville's philosophy is the principle that feeling is the secret to manifestation. This principle is echoed in the Lord's Prayer through its implicit call to embody the emotions associated with our prayers being answered. Goddard believed that emotional resonance is the fuel that powers the engine of manifestation. Simply visualizing a desire is not sufficient. One must also feel the joy, gratitude, and satisfaction that would accompany its realization. This emotional investment imbues our imaginations with the power to influence our reality, attracting circumstances and events that align with our desires. To conclude this exploration of the Our Father Prayer. In the context of manifesting our desires and harnessing the law of attraction, we find that this ancient prayer 
holds profound wisdom that aligns with the principles of manifestation and conscious creation. Embracing the Law of Attraction and Understanding the Teachings of Neville Goddard Regarding the power of belief and imagination is not merely a practice. It's a transformative journey of self-discovery and empowerment. It is an ongoing process of aligning your thoughts, beliefs, and actions with your deepest desires. Just as our Father serves as a template for prayer, the Law of Attraction operates ceaselessly in our lives as a universal divine law, independent of whether we consciously acknowledge it. Our recognition and acceptance of this law are personal choices within our power and free will. Yet embracing the existence and energy of this law can lead to miraculous transformations, allowing you to effortlessly align with your aspirations. Your role in understanding and harnessing the law of attraction, as with any divine law, is to attune your energy to match your desired goals, reshape your mindset by transforming your core thoughts and beliefs, and effectively communicate your intentions to the universe. This combination forms the perfect recipe to draw your most cherished desires into your life. Remember that mastering your life is fundamentally about mastering your own mind, rather than attempting to master the law of attraction itself. For this law operates as a master of its own accord, 